screen as well as dust bag in the back end gear. And you can see here, this is the left lobe of the lever. Here is the end gear. So the end gear is more efficient than the left lobe of the lever. And here is the right lobe of the lever and right kidney. And the right lobe of the lever is more bright than the right kidney. So it is hyper aqueic than the right kidney and hypo aqueic than the end gear. Regarding the ligaments and the fissure, which you can see uh, within the liver, they are the interlobar fissure, which is also called the major or mean lobar fissures. Then there are two intersegmental fissures, right and left, then there is the ligamentum pedis and the ligamentum venosum. The interlobar fissure is a shallow indentation on the posterior structure of the liver that separates the right and left lobe of the liver. And it lies within the gallbladder fossa as well as middle hepatic vein lies within this uh, major lobar fissure. The major lobar fissure is an intersecting line between the gallbladder, between the right and the left lobe of the liver. We draw an imaginary line from the IVC to the gallbladder fossa, and that imaginary line divides the liver into the right and the left lobe. So, major lobar fissures is the uh, line inferior to the gallbladder fossa. The intersegmental fissures, the right hepatic vein run within the right intersegmental fissures and divide the right lobe of the liver into anterior and posterior segment. The right hepatic vein lies within the right intersegmental fissures and it divides the right lobe of the liver into anterior and posterior segments. There is a left intersegmental fissures that invest the left hepatic vein which separates the medial and lateral segment of the left lobe of the liver. The ligament of penis, it contains the fibrous remnant of the umbilical vein and travels from the umbilicus to the anterior respect of the umbilical segment of the portal vein. This is the uh, left portal vein and it is its uh, umbilical portions from there the ligament of penis travels and it goes to the anterior abdominal wall at the level of the umbilicus and whenever there is portal hypertension you can see the falciform uh, ligament or the continuity of the ligament of penis. So, ligamentum pedis we can see in, on the liver as an echogenic linear um, uh, fibrous deposit. And it is a useful landmark between the medial and the lateral segment of the left, left lobe of the liver. Ligamentum venosum is the remnant of the ductus venosus and it lies between the left lobe of the liver and IVC and it separates the uh, cardiac lobe. The low behind the ligamentum venosum, this one is the cardiac lobe. So, the uh, two ligaments, one the ligamentum pedis, you can see quite easily, and second the ligamentum venosum, which is the remnant of the ductus venosum. Here, the ligamentum pedis is the remnant of the umbilical vein. So, this was about the various ligament and fissures which we can see within the liver. That's regarding the hepatic speculation, the liver receives your blood supply from both the portal vein, portal vein as well as the fatty artery. The portal vein carry in completely oxygenated venous blood from the intestines and spleen and portal vein supply 50% of the oxygen requirement of the liver cells and the branches of the hepatic artery, they complete the portal vein branches and will be drugs contained within a connective tissue sheet that is called the portal drive. So there is the pure blood supply of the liver, one from the portal vein, and that is from the, the second from the hepatic artery. And these are uh, invested in the uh, same connective tissue sheet which is called the portal triad. Portal triad is the area from where the vessels and there is liver and the liver. As you can see here, the portal vein, hepatic artery, and the third the key the structure they are labeled as the portal triad. So we have to remember from the tag, P for the portal vein is lie posteriorly, A for the artery which lie in between, and D is the corridor which lie in the most. The hepatic artery is a scenic trunk arising from the abdominal rota that give rise to the hepatic. This is the aorta from here, the sperm is enteric artery, the scenic trunk arises from the aorta which we can see by scanning now seeing the pancreas and sphere of the entire artery divides further into splenic artery and the common hepatic artery and also it gives a branch which is called the left gastric artery. 
and you can see in this picture, this is the scan where we have to see the new microbe is there, based transversely the digestion, and I am seeing the aorta with the vertebral body behind it, and this is the seed trunk of sperm and the arising from the aorta, and this is the seagull sign on the right side where the span, left side so the left side is spanic artery and on the right side there is the common hepatic artery. The common hepatic artery further divides into the hepatic artery. This is the common hepatic artery which is divided into the hepatic artery proper and gastrointestinal artery. Gastrointestinal artery goes towards the head of the pancreas when the hepatic artery proper goes towards the liver and get divided into the right and left hepatic artery as well as the cystic artery. Uh, you can see here in this uh, diagram of uh, this is the head of the pancreas. There are two anechoic tubular structures. The posterior one is the common bile duct, and the anterior one is the gastrointestinal arch. And uh, uh, the, so this was about the gastrointestinal arch. Here we can see the portal vein that is formed by the union of the splenic vein and spermogenital vein. Now the spermogenital vein is the This is the splenic vein. And this area where the splenic vein joins with the spermogenitalic vein to form the picnic of the portal vein that we label as portal junctions or portal junctions. As here you can see in this diagram, this is the spermogenitalic vein, it unites with the splenic vein and that forms the portal vein. Portal vein enters two portal practices to the liver and it gives rise to the right and the left portal. But then the right portal vein uh, further divides into anterior and posterior branches. These uh, uh, branches we have to remember because we have to study the segmental anatomy of the liver. And segmental anatomy of the liver is quite easily understood if we can understand the branches of the portal vein. The main portal vein, as I already told, that branch is formed by the union of splenic vein and sperm vein. It divides the right and the left. The right further divides into anterior and posterior, and both anterior and posterior divides into superior and inferior. Branch. This is the anterior and this is the anterior. So here we have the anterior superior, and on this side we have the anterior inferior branch, and likewise there will be a posterior superior and posterior inferior branch. So anterior and posterior are further divisible into superior and the inferior branch, and the superior and the inferior branch. This is about the right. And the left portal vein, we know that that descends upwards and that we label as the umbilical point. And it gives rise to the inferior branch, which we say lateral inferior, and as well as the lateral.